Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at changing the header color inside of our Ionic 3 applications. So you might have seen when you're on an Android device, and I should say this does only apply to Android, when you go on the multitask view, you see a variety of tabs for the different applications, and those have different header colors. We're going to look at changing the header color for our application in this video. So to get started, ensure you've made a new Ionic project or use this inside of your project. You can do that by running Ionic start header color, and I'm using the blank template, and of course adding dash dash v2. After which we can add the Cordova plugin header color. This can be done by running Ionic plugin add Cordova dash plugin dash header color. And just to make things super confusing, to add the Ionic Native plugin, it's npm install at ionic-native slash header dash color. So this one has a dash for the color, the Cordova plugin doesn't. Let's save that to the project with dash dash save. You should also probably save the Cordova plugin to the project as well. And we'll open it up in VS Code. Let's start by heading over to appmodule.ts and let's import from at ionic-native slash header color. We want to import the header color. And then we can add that to the list of providers by saying header color. Then I'm going to do this one inside of our app component. I'm going to import from ionic native slash header dash color. We're going to import the header color once again. And we're also going to add it to our constructor. So let's inject header color as header color. And then when our platform is ready, we're simply going to say this dot header color dot tint. And the tint is going to be the method that allows us to assign a particular color to the task header. I'm going to go for a nice emerald green. So let's add that right in there and we can save the file. If we run this on Android, bear in mind it won't work on iOS, we should find that our header color is now tinted. Now first off, add the Android platform by running Ionic platform add Android. And then we can emulate this by running Ionic emulate Android. If we then take a look in the multi app view inside of our emulator, we can see the emerald color for our application. So this about wraps up changing the header color inside of an Android application using Ionic 3. If you like this, hit that subscribe button for more Ionic content and let me know in the comments section below. My name is Paul and I'll see you in the next video.